It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to the Science Bowl, the science quiz program here in the Prince George's County Public Schools, where we test science IQs. Test your own and play along today. Let's meet today's players. First, from University Park Elementary School, please meet Margot Mutzik, Gabby Holzer, and Orla Collins. And from Pointer Ridge Elementary, say hello to Adriana Borromeo, John Rogers, and Tommy Ogunleya. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty with the easier questions on the left. They're worth five and 10 points. Tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. And yet, the two rounds today, one of these two outstanding teams will come back to play Cora Rice for the chance to become the third of our four finalists in this year's elementary school competition. Let's make sure everything works properly before we start. Let's go to the red team. Gabby, would you try your buzzer? Looks and sounds good. Good luck to you, to Margo, and to Orla. And John, give it a push. Green team buzzer. Looks and sounds good. Good luck to you, to Tommy, and to Adriana. Are we ready, guys? Yeah. Let's do it. Congratulations. Making it this far. You're ambassadors for your schools. You are elite students. Nobody loses here. You're all winners. Let's have a good game. We go alphabetically P before U. So Pointer Ridge, John, start us out. Um, let's get physical for 15 points. Let's get physical for 15 points to start out. Question is as follows. Element number 36 on the periodic table is real. But a version of it was used to kill Superman. Can you tell us what that element was, Pointer Ridge? Kryptonite. Kryptonite, that's right, indeed. We, a lot of us grew up wondering what was this kryptonite stuff. But Krypton is element number 36. Go green. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Your question is as follows. If you get a spasm in your leg, you have a Charlie horse. If you get a spasm in your diaphragm muscle, Hiccup. University Hiccup. Park. Hiccup. 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 You get hiccups, absolutely right. Good. Go, Rick. 15. Zoo prayed for 10. No, what? Okay. Zoo prayed for 10. Zoo prayed for 10 points. Teams in the Arabic language, there are 100 names for this animal, sometimes called the ship of the desert. Pointer Ridge. The camel? The camel, absolutely right. There are dromedaries, there are Bactrians, one hump, two hump, but they have so many different variations because that is their main animal. Go again, green. Nice answer, John. Science potpourri for 15. Science potpourri for 15 points. Teams, you're going to have to count on your fingers. I'm going to give you a mnemonic device to remember the names of all the planets in our newly configured solar system. John, what did you want to tell me? It is eight. Not eight, no. I was about to give you the mnemonic device because even though Pluto is out, it is still a dwarf planet, so it is still part of our solar system. Listen to this mnemonic device, count the number of words I use, and then tell me how many planets, including Pluto and all the dwarf planets we now have. Listen carefully. Get your fingers ready. My very educated mother, crying, just served us nine pizzas, hurting my esophagus. 13. 13. 13? 
14 planets, 14 planets. We have our, we have our regular planets plus the, uh, the dwarf planets that are added. All right, next please go green. Um, Choose again. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Seems your question is as follows. If you go to an orthodontist or an orthopedist, you are going to have either your bones or your teeth. What are they going to do to them, John? Straighten them. They're going to straighten them out. That's right. That's why you wear dentures. Uh, that's why you wear uh, braces. Good. Go. Green. Dateline size for 10. Dateline size for 10 points. Coca-Cola has come out with its own milk, premium milk. It is going to be less sugar, but more of this bodybuilding protein, Pointer Ridge. Mm -hmm. Lactose. Not lactose. No, University Park. Can you repeat the question? Please? Yes. The new milk that Coca-Cola is bringing out will have less sugar and more of this bodybuilding nutrient. Iron. What you want? Say? Iron. Not iron. Good try. Uh, protein, and I think I might have even said that in the question. So uh, no points. My apologies for that. Go again, Green. Ninety to sixty advantage, John. Let's get physical for ten points. Let's get physical for ten points. Teams, there are things called super fluids that are formed when you take a gas and you change it into a liquid. This second lightest gas, John. Hydrogen? No. This second lightest gas, Gabby. Helium? Helium turns into a super fluid that actually goes uphill. Good, go red. Body systems five. Okay. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, according to a television ad, this body system's speed limit is 268 miles an hour. Pointer Ridge. Your heart. That's not a body system. That's your system. University Park. What body system's speed limit is 268 system. miles an hour? Cardiovascular yes. system. The cardiovascular system? Your nervous system. That's how fast nerve signals travel from your brain out to the various parts of your body. Go again, red. 20 points behind, Gabby. Ten. Uh, potpourri, for ten. potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10? Potpourri for 10 points. Quarterback Tom Brady of the New England Patriots suffered only one bad injury in his career. He had a torn ACL. John? University Park, a torn ACL for Tom Brady. An ACL is an anterior cruciate. What is the L? Ligament. Ligament? That's it. Good. Go red. Uh, uh, green things for 10. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, the, in a germinating seed, the plumule turns into the plant's eventual shoot. But the first thing out of that germinating seed, Gabby, Roots? The root, absolutely right. The radical turns into the root. Good round, a fast round. Let's check that score. We've got a tie. University Park, 90. Pointer Ridge, 90. We'll be back with more Science Bowl in just one moment. I wanted to start a business that I was passionate about, something I absolutely enjoyed and believed in. I was doing the corporate grinds, and I kind of wanted to do something a little more green. My name's Steve Allen. I run Rad Cab in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We do pedicabs and mobile outdoor advertising. I love being social, talking to people. A lot of confusing stuff when you start a business. When I go in and talk to my store mentor, he really helps me sort it all out, and we just get organized. And when I go home, I feel confident about what's going on. It really feels amazing to create jobs here in my city. It's incredibly awesome. I love to show it off. If you get a solid foundation for your business laid, everything else falls in place. SCORE has absolutely been the most invaluable resource that I've had from day one. For free? I could not imagine doing anything else. Get your free business mentor at SCORE.org. And welcome back to Science Bowl. Nice to have you here today. Six outstanding young people. University Park here for the first time this season. Got a bye last year because they did so extremely well. One of the winningest schools in Science Bowl history, and they'd like to add to that this year. Pointer Ridge here two times already this year, hoping to move on and maybe get their first ever county championship. You'll notice a change in the score. There are indeed 13 planets in the solar system, including the dwarf planets, so we're awarding those 15 extra points to University Park. 
Mark, and my apologies, ladies, for that. Let's go over and find out about each of our players. Gabby, tell us about University Park. You have a new principal, don't you? Yeah. What's her name? Uh, Miss Davis. Miss Davis, and she is with us today. She's going to be out in just a few moments. I know how proud she is of you. Okay. And someone who is not new to your school is Mr. Favero, yeah. who has been the Science Bowl sponsor for many, many years, a more devoted teacher you cannot find. And every year he comes up with these great shirts, and I know he makes this a, it's a big experience. It's a big deal at University Park, and we appreciate all that Jeff does. Did you have any alternates on your team? In fact, I know you had kind of a shadow yeah. team. Plus, can you give me their first names, Gabby? Okay, uh, we have Riley, uh -huh. Abby, Sean, and Emily. That's wonderful. Bring them all out in a few moments with Mr. Favero. And uh, tell me about University Park. It's a great place. I like to come over there on Read Across America Day because you do wonderful things with Dr. Seuss. Yeah. What else do you like over there that you brag about? Uh, well, the teachers are like really nice. Um, and we have a lot of after school activities and we have a school musical every year. We have choir. And yeah, it's a really good oh, school. Lots of, you know, all those things are important. Academics are good, but so are those extracurriculars. And I know you sing, and Margot sings, and Orla sings, and Gabby also, you're, you want to be an actress, right? Yeah. You've got good stage presence. I can see you doing that. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's nice to have you here today. You were all alternates before. Now you're here in the big time, right? Yeah. And uh, you're playing a good game. Orla, tell me about yourself. You want to go to the University of Pennsylvania someday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because your dad went there. Yep. And uh, are you interested in veterinary medicine? Yeah, I like that. I also like archaeology. They're really separate topics, but I find them That's both right. in no, interesting. No, our interests are what they are. Yep. And uh, what do you do in your spare time? Uh, I do a lot of guitar. I have like three hour rehearsals now and plus two 45 minute rehearsals. Wow. Oh so, thank you for fitting us in your busy day, <laughs> Orla. Good to have you here. Margaret, nice to have you on set here. You like to sing. You're part of the choir there. Uh, and you like to swim. I know, Gabby, you're a swimmer as well. Yeah. I don't know if you swim as well, Orla. Mm -hmm. And where do you swim, Margo? I um, swim at the PG County pools. They're great. I mean, they're everywhere. Yeah, I'm with you. I love these pools and the one over here at FedEx Field near the FedEx, the sport and learning pool. Yeah. It's just immense. It's wonderful out there. Margo, what do you want to do someday? Someday I want to grow up and be a child life specialist at Johns Hopkins Hospital because um, I have a medical condition where I end up in the hospital a lot and um, the child life specialists are the one who bring games and toys and try to engage you in something productive to cheer you up while you're there. I wow. think that would be a really nice thing to do for other people. Absolutely. And uh, it's nice to kind of pay it back. For those people that have been so nice to you and to continue on that tradition, that's thanks for sharing that with us, Margot. You're playing a good game. Let's go over to Pointer Ridge. Nice to have you guys back again. You're sharp as ever, John. How do you get ready for this? Have you been practicing? Yes. Yeah, and it shows you know an awful lot of science. Pointer Ridge is in the buoy area. And who's your principal? Miss Stevenson. Wonderful. And I know she's out there rooting for you. And who's your sponsor? Miss Reedy. Yes, Miss Reedy, and she's been sending us great teams, and I know how proud she is to have you here this far in our competition. She can smell that first county championship. I know you're not going to let her down over there. What do you like to tell people about Pointer Ridge, John? What do you like about it? I like the extracurricular activities that we do, like instrumental and like choir. Yeah. Do you play an instrument yourself? Yes. What do you play? I play the trumpet. Trumpet. Wow. Tommy, do you play an instrument at all? Yeah, I, I play I play the violin. Play the violin. And Adriana, are you also musical? Do you play an instrument? Yes. What do you play? I play a violin. Violin as well. All right. Boy, we have the singers here. We've got the violinists. We could have had a little ensemble here today. And absolutely. John, uh, someday, what are you going to do? I want to be a chemist. Chemist, yeah, so you're in the right place on Science Bowl here if you're interested in chemistry. Tommy, tell me about yourself. What do you want to do someday? One day I want to be an astronaut. Why so? Why'd you because, get interested? How'd you get interested? Because I remember a time, it was a long time ago, I don't even know how old I was, I was really young, and my mom was watching the news and they said that, they, that a space rover landed on Mars, and I was like, oh, that's really cool, and then I, and then I started looking up, like, like, like the planets and then our space and I started studying a lot and I thought it was really interesting and then I wanted to, and I realized that the, that you could actually go to space and I really wanted to be an astronaut from that Absolutely. day on. Absolutely. I think as long as man has been on this planet we've looked up and we've wondered you know what's out there? What if we could get to one of those stars or one of those planets? We've been to the moon and of course we're trying to get to Mars and uh, that's just the beginning. Someday people will look back and say boy they were they were so uh, behind because they couldn't travel like we can in between planets and all. So uh, 
Good luck to you. Thanks for sharing that. Adriana, you want to go to the University of Maryland? Yeah. Yeah. And this young lady, she likes to cook, right? And don't you have a restaurant in mind? Yes. What, what's your restaurant going to be like? It's going to have different cuisines, like, and we're going to hand out um, cookbooks for people so they can test out our recipes and try to make them their own. Ah, uh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Of course, you don't want to give away all of your trade secrets, then no one will come to your restaurant. But, uh, you know, it's, there's something about having someone else prepare a meal for you. It just tastes better, doesn't it? It just tastes better. Someone else makes a sandwich for you, you make the same. It's just not the same. You're playing a nice game. Nice to have you back. Let's get back to our game. Pointer Ridge 90, University Park 105. Last correct answer came from the red team. Gabby, start us out. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, President Abraham Lincoln and a lot of other presidents like to claim that they were born in cabins made of these green things that are, yes, John. Trees. More specifically. Logs. Logs, log cabins, that's it. Thank you, Adriana, for your assist. Go green. Dateline signs for 15 points. Dateline signs for 15. Look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please. And this aquatic animal you're about to see is called Daphnia. It's actually a crustacean, but a lot of people think it's an aquatic version of what insect that we know can jump very high in Cricket. University Park. Cricket. 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 Cricket? Not a cricket, point of ridge. They think Daphnia is an aquatic version of this kind of insect that can jump very high and likes to live on dogs. Fleas. Fleas, that's right. It's a water flea, but in, in, it is, in fact, a crustacean. Nice comeback. Good try, Gabby. Go, John. Good. Five-point lead. Zoo parade for 15. Zoo parade for 15 points. A visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, please, yet again. Teams, Katy Perry thought wombats were fictional until she actually held one. That's a wombat. It's a marsupial. And like all marsupials, it's babies. <laughs> University it's Park. It lives in a pouch. Or in a pouch. Or in a pouch. Are carried in pouches. More information, please. Um, are born. Uh, uh, are born live and go. And are born live and. Born live and are carried in pouches Ooh, by the parents. You're giving me all kinds of good information. It's not quite what we're headed for. Pointer Ridge, as Gabby was saying, yes, it's a marsupial. It has a pouch. It's where the babies develop. What do you call a baby wombat? It is the same name you give to all baby marsupials. A kid? A joey. A joey, like a baby kangaroo. Go green. Remember to talk to your teammates over there, John. Don't be making all these. It's Tommy and Adriana. Weigh in. Help them out if you've got an idea. Go, John. Green things for 15 points. Green things for 15 points. Teams, this bird, I love its name, a yellow-bellied sapsucker. It makes so many holes in this part of the tree as it seeks food that it girdles the tree. Bark. University Park. Bark. The bark, yeah. It actually makes so many holes that that bark strip causes the tree to eventually die. Go red. Potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams, this is a strange question. But if you ever fell into a black hole, which I know you don't plan on doing, you will be stretched out so far that you will start looking like one of these strands of the most pop university park. Spaghetti? Yeah, it's called spaghettiization. Absolutely right. Good answer. Go red. Zoo parade for five. Zoo parade for five points. Teams, if you watch the halftime show at the Super Bowl, Katy Perry was dancing with these big jawed fish. John. Sharks. Yeah, she was dancing with sharks. And one was really getting kind of funky over there, too. Go. Green. Green things for, no, no, zoo parade for 20 points. Zoo parade for 20 points. All right, teams, listen carefully. It's a multiple choice question. It's a geographical question. One of the commercials at the Super Bowl was called the first draft ever, and God was up there, and he said, Brazil takes the sloth. Australia chooses the kangaroo. And this island chooses the dodo bird. Was it Komodo, Madagascar, or Mauritius? Which of those three islands chose the dodo? Madagascar. No, not Madagascar. Was it Madagascar, Komodo, or Mauritius that chose the dodo? Mauritius. Mauritius, absolutely right. A tiny island out in the Indian Ocean, and the dodo went and sinked on it because it had nowhere to go and it couldn't fly, and the sailors came and literally just beat them over the head and ate them all. Go red. 
Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, listen carefully. Sometimes when college students binge drink, they suffer atrial fibrillation, which means that this specific part of your body starts to shake. What specific part of your body if you're suffering from atrial fibrillation? University part. Heart. More specifically. Um, um, your at the atriums of your pass heart. Pass to Margo. Mar the atriums of your heart. Absolutely right. The upper chamber is the atria. That's what I want to know. Good. Thanks, Margo, for your assist. Go, Gabby. Um, green things for 20. Green things for 20. Green things for 20. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Team scientists have discovered a photosynthetic slug, a mollusk that eats algae and then steals from the algae what cellular components that contain chlorine. University Park. Chloroplast? That's exactly right. The chloroplast with the chlorophyll inside, so the slug gets to eat food that is produced by that plant. Well done. Go red. Uh, physical, 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 for five. Physical for five. Physical for five. Physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, boy, water must be kind of uptight because of all the fluids on Earth, it has the highest surface what? Pointer Ridge? Density? No, not density. Water must be pretty uptight because of all the liquids on Earth. It has the highest surface what? Tension. Tension? Tension, yeah, it's tense. It's tense. Okay, go red. Okay. Physical for 20. Yeah, physical for 20. Physical for 20? Let's get physical for 20 points. All right, teams, your question is as follows. Well. Oxidation, which is burning or combustion, always involves the loss of these negatively charged subatomic particles. Um, University Park. Electrons. Exactly, electrons. Good. Red. Body systems 25. Body systems for 25 points. Body systems for 25. Big one in that category, teams. All right, 210 to 115. Point of Ridge, you need this one to get back in the game. It's body systems for 25. Here's your question. Teams, the soft drink Pepsi, which at one time people thought helped digestion, was named for pepsin, which is what kind of catalytic chemical found in your gastric juice? University Park. Acid. 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 Not an acid. Good try. Pepsin is what kind of catalytic chemical found in your gastric juice? Pepsin is why it is called Pepsi. It's an enzyme. It's an enzyme, a catalytic chemical. Try again, Red. Dateline for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Teams. Although this famous Italian scientist believed in astrology, he caused a lot of people to get upset, especially the Pope, when he said the sun was in the center of the solar system. Name that scientist Pointer Ridge. Galileo. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Adriana, for your assist. Go green. Dateline science for 25. Dateline for 25 points. Team's tough question. Listen carefully. He believed in mermaids? He thought pelicans didn't exist. He even believed in the phoenix. But this L-initialed Swedish botanist went on to give a scientific name to every plant and animal on Earth. His name was Carolus what? With an L, John. You rang in. What did you want to tell me? Lenius. Say it again. Lenius. Lenius. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. The judge says that's who it was. Go green. Nice science, job, John. Science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points. He's going to win this thing. All right, here's the question, teams. Some people belong to pickle programs. They like to turn cucumbers into pickles, and they want to turn sour cabbage into sauerkraut through what F-initialed process? Fermentation. Fermentation. University Parks. Fermentation? Yes, ma'am. Good. Go red. Um, just, uh, no, um, green things. 25. Green things. Okay. Here we go. Dateline for five. Dateline science for five points. Teams, scientist, virologist guessed incorrectly by thinking that the strain of this disease this year would be H3N2. So we all go. Flu. Yes, University Park. The flu? The flu, yes. The wrong strain is what we got vaccinated against. Go red. Green thing for 25. Green, green thing for 25. 
Green things for 25. Green things for 25. Big one in that category, teams. What same F-initialed word describes the thin thread that holds the stamen and is found in an incandescent light bulb and it vibrates back and forth to cause the light to glow? What F-initialed term describes both of those? It's a filament, a filament. Try again red. Three questions left. Is your parade 25? Potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams, sometimes in an experiment, some people get the real drug, some people get the fake it's drug. Placebo. University it's Park. Placebo. Placebo. It's the placebo, absolutely right. Good. Red. Um, Zoo Parade 25. Zoo Parade for 25. Zoo Parade for 25 points. Teams, eels and salmon are known as Uri Haline animals because they can tolerate living in water with different amounts of what? Pointer Ridge. Uranium? Not uranium, no. Uri Haline describes eels and salmon because they can both live in water with different amounts of what? Acidity. Acidity? Salt. Salt was the right answer. Oh, ho, ho, the buzzer has rung. There was just one question left. It looks like University Park has done it. We'll be back with a wrap up in just a moment. Don't go away. Going to school pregnant, riding the bus. That was hard. You just have all the stares and you have all the questions and even little kids make you nervous just staring at you. When you get pregnant, all the stuff just goes through your mind. Abortion, adoption, keeping him. You're his mom. You're supposed to be the one taking care of him and raising him. But when you're 15 and pregnant, you can't do it without support. I wanted to give him a better life. When I found out I was pregnant, I don't know, just a light hit me in my heart, just saying, adoption, what you need to do. I really have a simple dream. I just want to get my nursing career, get married, and have a family. When I get pregnant again, give them a better life. I'm Miranda, and I chose adoption. Hope you enjoyed this game at home as much as we did here in the studio. It went back and forth. We are so proud of all of our players. They are all great science students. Our final tally today is Pointer Ridge 160, University Park 260. Congratulations. Look at the smiles over there. Orla and Gabby and Margo. Look at the team back there. All the alternates wave as I call your name. We've got Emily and Sean and Abby and Riley and the very proud principal Mrs. Davis is over here and Mr. Favero, the, the coach of all coaches over there. Congratulations. We'll see you against Cora, against Cora Park. Pointer Ridge, you never got this far before. Let's see some big smiles. Let's give them a hand. Pointer Ridge, Adriana, John, Tommy. Daniel is back there. Miss Reedy, thank you for all your hard work. We love having you here. And Mrs. Stevenson, their principal, their proud principal is here as well. Thank you for joining us today. And we thank you. We'll see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. Bye-bye.